Jessica Simpson became enclosed because of terrible comments and intense body shaming. Toby's Demi Sims blogs Francesca Ferrago as first call squeeze on Ravi Romance. And Taylor Swift met with backlash by Pete Waterman, who claims the rival Scooter Brown made her. Jessica Simpson's mom has spoken up about people body shaming her daughter. Jessica Simpson was once upon a time voted as one of the most attractive celebrities in the world, but her mom has, however, revealed that the intense body shaming made her daughter not want to leave the house. Speaking to today, she said that the hardest thing for Jessica has been her weight, and the way people judge her is unbelievable. She said no girl or guy should have to go through that at all. Period. Well, in 2019, Jessica had opened up about her struggles. She said, why does the cruel opinion of this world get to me? She said she read back her on her journals of 99. She said that she beats up herself anytime people call her fat. Well, the good news is that she said that there is a wonderful movement of body positivity and the response to that portion of her story has been overwhelmingly supportive. Like, I don't understand why people just go online and just open their mouths wah, and just like make people feel bad about themselves. Yes, I get they might be fat, they might not be as attractive as they were before, but really, do you have to make it like worse for them? They are already feeling bad enough that they are in that position. Don't make their lives harder. Don't be the reason why someone who, you know, attempts suicide or even commits suicide. People should be nicer, okay? Well, moving on to the next year. Francesca Ferrago and Toei star Demi Sims have called it quits after four months of wilded romance. But while Francesca said nothing bad happens, Demi has gone ahead to block her, leaving fans wondering if something did indeed happen. Sharing pictures of roses, Francesca revealed that they were no longer together and she said that nothing bad happened and they were both loyal to each other and still love each other but sometimes people just don't work perfectly and that's okay. She said she wished they could have had like a few days to cope with this in private but that they chose to share their entire relationship with their fans and that is why she's posting this. Some fans were however quick to point out that they were no longer following each other and Francesca addressed this issue saying that in normal life when a couple breaks up this there is this coping mechanism that they come up with and they do not get scrutinized by thousands of people for how they chose to deal with a heartbreak she said that really nothing bad happened Demi however is still yet to publicly comment on the speech so yeah <laughs> she's still dealing with it but really, if she says nothing bad happened, then nothing bad happened between them. Like, people should just take a word for it. Were you in the relationship? Were you there when they broke up? Huh? No, you were not. So yeah, take it. Alright, moving on to the last but not the least gist. The Taylor Swift and Scooter Brown saga has a new voice addition. As pop idol judge Pete Waterman airs his opinion. Just in case you all didn't know what happened between Taylor Swift, Taylor Swift accused Scooter Brown of bullying her after the rights of majority of her work was passed over to him when he bought her former record label Big Machine for $300 million in 2019. This meant that all her songs that she recorded from 2006 to 2017, her music videos, her albums, Everything was handed over to him. She claims that Scooter has consciously you know, bullied her for years in a bid to you know, dismantle a musical legacy. Well, pop idol star Pete Waterman has decided to air his own opinion on the matter. He said that there is no fury like a woman's corn and that Taylor Swift is corn. He said there is no question about it, this is a vendetta between her and her ex-manager. He said he feels bad for young songwriters who cannot do this, like who don't have the money to you know, hire a lawyer that is able to do this. While moving forward, Taylor Swift plans to re-record her music as a way of gaining back control and she also signed a management deal with Universal Music Group. 
in a bid to keep the ownership of her future music. This includes the albums Folklore, Evermore and 2019's Lover. Well, I personally love Taylor Swift and whatever she decides to do, I support her fully. And that's all I have for you guys on CBD today. But don't forget, guys, you can keep this conversation alive. Tell us to deliver everything I've just said. You know, from top to bottom, you can do this by following us on our social media platforms. Camera.tv and Instagram. Camera.boy official on Facebook. Camera.boy TV and G on Twitter. And on the big boy YouTube, guys, Camera.boy TV. Do not forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And if you want to see what I've made up to lately, you can follow me on Instagram at a underscore eva until next time ciao